Eso me voy a subir. Soy dead. Headshot. Yo, what is up guys? There will be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. This will be my Warrior 200 build guide on Gloria Victus. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get on with it. Alright, so starting off, I want to kick off with attribute points because it's a very important part of the game and a lot of people don't really understand it. I know someone that I was playing with the other day, he said he was making a 200 sword build and he had no dex whatsoever, no dexterity. Big mistake on a sword build. So you've got strength, constitution and dexterity. I have 215, 190 and 200 as you can see on the screen. The most balanced, like well balanced two handed warrior you can make is 200 strength, 200 constitution and then 200 dexterity. And then say if you wanted that little, you'll have, you have, still have a couple of points spare over there. Um, I'd say if you wanted a tiny bit more damage, you could with strength or a tiny bit more health, you could with constitution. But definitely your most well rounded will be 200, 200, 200. I've gone 215 because I just like that little extra one or two damage on my hits. And I'm not too fussed about the 10 health that I'm going to get with it. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, but definitely 200, 200, 200 for your most well balanced two-handed character um, I know a lot of people that are using that a lot of people told me to do that but I went this way I just think it's a better idea in, for my type of playstyle so yeah anyway there you go there's the attribute points let's get on to the next part all right the next part your passive abilities there is a gazillion ways different ways you can do this um, to me this is my I, I think this is the best one you could go with me personally, this is what I run with, I will never change this. So, I've got, I'm not too fussed about this uh, Vanguard or Shield Bash. Shield Bash is a good thing to have no matter what type of character you're using. Make sure you have at least one point in Shield Bash, just so you can unlock the ability for yourself. It's 100% worth it. But anyway, um, Shield Bash to 5, Vanguard to 5, increased Shield Resistance. Like, I don't need this. I wish I could skip this, but I can't. For me to get up to a tough one, I need to have this to a minimum level 5. That's why it's at 5. And then I get tough one to 10. This gives me maximum health increase by 1% per level of this passive. So I've got it to level 10. That gives me a plus 10% health. You don't, you don't need that as a 200 warrior. If you're going in for pure damage and stuff like that, you could go a different way. I think this is a good thing to have though. So it, it, like for me, it's like 160, like two or 163 HP. That, that's a good one or two hits. You know what I mean? So that that's definitely can be a lifesaver. I would definitely get that. But anyway, for the build, yeah, we're going to go up into toughness. So we're going to go five in Shield Bash, five in Vanguard, 10 in Tough One for the extra HP. Now, you do not need marksman at all on a two-handed build. You do not need it. Do not touch it. Um, then we've got Reaper. This makes it so you can damage multiple enemies at a time with your two-handed sword. This is why you go with Reaper. 100% go with Reaper. Now, I've got I've got Strongman, which gives me an, an extra 0.5% per level. So at level 10, I get a plus 5% damage when going for a max damage hit. I did personally, I had Brute, but I took it out because it's only an extra 2% damage for 10 points. And I actually moved that Brute from the points from Brute over into Tough One. That's how I got Tough One. An extra, you know, 160 HP over 2% damage. You know, that's the smarter move. So I'd say leave Brute, just get Strongman, and then you want to move up the left side. 
All right, so after that, we've got athlete stamina drain when kicking, sprinting, and swimming is reduced by 2% per level of this passive. You've got to get this. All right, if you don't have stamina in this game, you are dead. When you run out of stamina, that is, that's just death. That's it. So athlete is a very good thing for catching up with enemies and stuff like that. Then we're going to move up. Uh, we're going for breath control. Stamina regeneration is increased by 3% per level of this passive. So if you get into a situation where you've been chasing them all too long, or you know you've been blocking too much, you need some stamina. You can back off a little bit. It'll regen 30% faster. Like I said, you need stamina in this game. Then after that, I go for awareness. Damage received from being backstabbed is reduced by 0.5% per level, and an additional 5% at level 10. So altogether, it means I'll take 10% less damage when being hit in the back. Which, if someone kicks your shield or kicks your two-handed sword when you're blocking, they're going to walk behind you and hit you in the back. This is going to make it so you take, you know, a good 20-25% less damage. So, it can be a lifesaver. Um, after that, you'll go for the one on the right. Stamina drain while attacking and holding a weapon is reduced by 1.5% per level of this passive. Now, this to me is an optional one. I'm a very aggressive player as you've seen in the intro, you know, I'm putting up a sword up and down, up and down, up and down, getting ready for that big swing. If you're not as, not as aggressive as me and you're more waiting back, waiting for your opportunity, then I'd say get rid of this and go into Brute or Dirty Fighter, which will get you some um, more backstab damage. Or you could go for Brute, which is an extra 2% damage just altogether. Um, but if you are an aggressive player and you are swinging a lot, then you definitely want to go for this to, because it's you know saving your 15% stamina every time. After that, we're going to go up to veteran maximum stamina increased by 2% per level in this passive. Like I said, you want stamina. You always want stamina. Definitely get this. Now, optional. Whether you want to go up for unstoppable or whether you want to go for battle rage. Me personally, I tried battle rage. I wasn't a fan of it. Your attacks cannot be interrupted for the first 15 seconds when your health is below 60%. So, when your health goes below 60%, you basically just want to be swinging your sword like a madman. That is literally it. But as you're doing that, people have got chances to hit you as well. And if you're in a, like, you know, a big fight, this is going to this is gonna screw you over. That's why I changed it and I went up to the left for unstoppable. So I get what doesn't kill me makes me stronger, it gives me... 2% health regen for each point, so giving me a plus 20% health regen, then go onto Unstoppable, which makes it so, if you've seen in the intro, the second person that I killed, um, you'll see when I kick his shield, he doesn't move whatsoever, um, and I just walk behind him and hit him in the back. So what this does is this makes it so, instead of being stood there like a wet potato, you can't use your sword or your shield when they kick your block, but you can still walk away. You can still move about, so you can you you do have a slight chance of walking away from the attack. That's why I think this is the best one because it can be a much better lifesaver than battle rage. Battle rage is going crazy. You're probably going to die because you're swinging constantly over and over. Unstoppable can be a lifesaver. That's why I think that's the better option. So that is the passive abilities. Let's get on with the next part of the video. Alright, so there is the two-handed build guide. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I really do hope it helps. You know, make sure you change it up a little bit. Go for your own type of style. Watch out for your, Watch out for the future videos. I'm going to be doing video guides on every single type of build I can think of. But it's obviously going to take me some time to make each character and level them up to 100. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. I ain't got no chill.